It's pretty common knowledge that we, as a generalization of society, have a smartphone issue. I've heard people say that the zombie apocalypse has happened already because of the number of people walking around slowly, tripping on things while glued to their smartphone. We've become so dependent on our smartphones that now something called a digital detox has become a thing. This is a band-aid solution though, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you why. Welcome to the Intuitive Health Channel. I'm Heather Thatcher, your guide to help you live an intuitive life, and I am so grateful that you're here. Just in case you don't know what a digital detox is, here's the general idea. People go on a digital detox when they feel like they're spending too much time on their smartphone or social media or playing a game on their phone. Whatever it is, people decide that they need a break and they decide to not go on social media for a week or not play that game for a week or not use their phone only to make phone calls for a week. I think you get the idea. But this is a band-aid solution though because it's not addressing the underlying problem. True, taking a break from screen time or social media for a few days can improve your mental health and stress level, but when you come back to it, those unwanted emotions will slowly build up again. The amount of time you spend on those apps is also likely to creep back up to where you feel like you need a break. You'll find that you keep going through the same cycle over and over and over again. Did you know that the average person in the US spent three and a half hours daily on their phone in 2018? And every year that average increases by 11 minutes. And we spend 90% of that three and a half hours of screen time on apps like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, Snapchat, and any of those game apps that you might have on your phone. All of these apps are designed to keep you distracted, entertained, and engaged for as long as possible. Instagram stories keep rolling. The Facebook news feed, Instagram feed, TikTok feed, they're all an endless scroll of distraction. Those games you play have an infinite supply of new levels and don't even get me started on the YouTube vortex of recommended videos. I am guilty of watching just one more video on YouTube and then being surprised of how much time has gone by since I started with just that one video tutorial. All of this is so immersive and it takes over our attention, it overloads our brains with information. Plus, we have notifications popping up all the time reminding us to come back to these apps or check out that new email that just arrived. No wonder our intuition has such trouble communicating with us. Your intuitive messages are subtle and they can't compete with a steady stream of smartphone notifications. Those quiet messages, that are asking you to get up and stretch, to close your eyes and take a few mindful breaths or to slow down and hear when your body is saying that you're finished eating. How is that supposed to compete? Unless you work to develop and strengthen your intuition, it really doesn't stand a chance against your smartphone. And even if you do have a strong connection to your intuition, it can still be really tricky. Plus, when you think about it, do you actually wanna spend three and a half hours per day on your phone? Imagine yourself standing at the end of your beautiful life, looking back on all that you accomplished, all the people you impacted and who changed you for the better. I think it's a safe bet that no one is gonna think, I'm glad that I spent three and a half hours every day on my phone and on social media. That really made a difference. Now I wanna ask you, do you really wanna do a traditional digital detox and be caught up in the cycle of taking a few days off from using your phone regularly so that you feel less like a slave to this little device? Or do you want to have better digital habits and support systems in place when it comes to your phone and social media so that you never feel like you need a digital detox in the first place? Probably that, right? It's time to break free from the cycle and regain power over your digital wellness. This will allow you to feel empowered about how much time you spend on your phone and what you do on your phone, all without having to think much about it. Your phone will start to become a tool to support your wellness, not a weapon of mass distraction. You will have some space to hear and strengthen your intuition. And finally, you'll have more time for the things, activities, and people that are important to you and support your ultimate health and wellness. All you have to do is declutter your phone, decide on limits for each app and your phone in general, and set up systems and habits to support your goals so that your phone works for you, not the other way around. Sure, you could figure out how to do this on your own, 
Or you could speed up the process and join my next free five-day challenge called The Last Digital Detox You'll Ever Need. Over these five days, I'm gonna walk you through every step to have it be easy to follow your digital wellness goals. I'll guide you through the process of creating your own rules that are 100% unique to you. I will share with you how to set up your phone with screen segmentation and digital wellness apps so that you'll be able to easily stick to your digital wellness goals without having to think about it at all. Your phone can be an excellent tool and a support for your overall health and wellness. You have a little wellness coach in your pocket. You just have to unlock this capability from your phone. In this free five-day challenge, I'm going to show you step by step in 20 minutes a day how to do that and by the end of this challenge you're going to have so much more time to take care of yourself to do all those things on your want to do list but you've never had time to do before and spend more time with the people who matter the most your intuition is doing its best to shout out over all of these digital distractions right now so let's create some space to hear your intuition the next free five-day challenge is starting soon, so join us by going to heatherthatcher.com slash challenge or by checking out the show notes page for this episode and, or in the comments below. I hope to see you in the next challenge. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. I am so grateful for the energy that we shared today. I know you're the kind of person who likes to help others, so I invite you to share this video with someone important to you who you think could also benefit from watching this video. If you want inspirational, intuitive health content like this daily, connect with me on Instagram. Every day I give you a mini challenge, an affirmation, intuition builder, or energy clearing technique to help you take what we talk about on this video to the next level. You can find me over on Instagram and all other social media platforms with the name at Become Intuitive. I am so grateful, you beautiful soul, and I wish you all the peace, love, and light this week. See you next time.